Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to the official release version of Cattails. If you guys watched our alpha or our beta adventures, then you already know how this works. We're playing as a feral cat living out her life with a forest colony, and this little kitty just so happens to be based off of my real cat, Penny. So just to kind of recap things in case this is your first episode with us, a lot of big changes have happened in Penny's life. She's given her red rose to Scout, who is the local hunter in the colony, and giving a cat a red rose represents your romantic interest in them, so we're just starting to develop their relationship. We've also made somewhat of a shaky little alliance with the Mountain Domain. We do enjoy hunting bunnies up here, so we figured it would be a good idea to get on their good side. We're going to try to do the same with the Mystic Colony too, but they've always been the toughest contenders with the uh, Forest Colony, our biggest opposing figure in the entire forest. So it's a little bit trickier for us to gain that reputation with them. But we're such good friends with the Mountain Colony now that we can even visit their shops. So maybe later on today, we'll see if we can find anything special there. We want to uh, actually bring some gifts to the cats if we can, especially our brand new friend Luna. We'll have to figure out what she might like as a, a little gift from the forest. And then last but not least, Coco came to us uh, not too long ago to let us know that um, he needs help restoring the balance of the forest, so we can hopefully bring the forest guardian back to the temple. And if any of that sounds confusing to you guys, then don't worry. I will leave the links to the playlist in the description of the video so you guys can get all caught up on Penny's adventures. But let's make sure, as always, that we greet Scout before we leave for the day, because we want to make sure that he's going to uh, have the food that he needs, of course, as he goes out hunting for the rest of the colony. Do you want my extra catnip? I don't need it. Scout, you're giving us catnip? Here, it's yours now. Oh, he must have stashed this away for so very long. I wonder how long he's been planning to uh, actually give that to us. Catnip is pretty rare, especially in the wintertime because uh, none of these plants are growing out in the snow. So we are going to uh, actually stash that away ourselves too, because we were hoping once uh, the springtime rolls around that we might be able to gather up enough to hopefully plant it in our brand new garden. I feel like that would be uh, particularly useful because catnip is such a great gift. Basically, any cat in the forest, any cat in the mountains, and even any cat in the mystic colony too, would absolutely love to receive catnip as a gift. But since we can't forage for herbs today when it's still snowing outside, instead we're going to try to find some bunnies for Scout. We know that Scout loves eating rabbits, and since we're opening this new chapter in Penny's journey, where we're hoping to give him a shiny trinket soon, we want to make sure that we have a nice steady supply of bunnies tucked away in the back of our den. Something to give him every single day so he knows that we're thinking about him. At least we can pick up some blueberries though. That would be a good thing for us to munch on instead of uh, the larger prey. Luckily, we've already given the uh, Forest Guardian all of the winter blueberries that he needs to. We just need to give them one more raspberry and then we'll have yet another one of those bundles complete. And I mean, we might as well catch the extra little squirrels. I wonder if uh, anybody in the mountain colony would like squirrels as a gift. I don't think we've found anybody who uh, appreciates squirrels as much as a scout likes the bunnies. Maybe we'll have to experiment with that. But yeah, these trap doors we found are super connected to the Forest Guardian too. Coco revealed a big puzzle underneath the one that we completed the last time, so I wouldn't be surprised if the rest of these that we found scattered all throughout the world are just the same. Most likely, every time we complete one of those bundles, he'll probably open up another one, so it would be a good idea for us to at least um, mark them off on our map. Now, despite Penny's recent failure, she is very, very close to becoming a master hunter too. We're on our very last level in hunting. We need 260 experience points for that, so I think that's what we'll be saving for in the winter. And typically, the big battles on the map are one of the best places for us to gather up experience points. So we have one taking place on the canyon cliffs, so I guess we might as well go to that one first as we head toward the highlands looking for those bunnies. If we scoot on over to the next tile, we should be able to uh, see who is contesting this tile today. Though something tells me, yeah, it's the uh, mountain cats because we're so close to their territory. So we'll use our deep cut skill and then try our best to get rid of all of these cats, but Rascal already took care of it for us. Thank you very much, little guy. 
Oh, I'll never be as good a hunter as dad wants me to be. Well, rascal, don't worry because you are an absolutely excellent warrior. Hopefully you're going to uh, stick around us because Penny is feeling a little bit hurt. We might even need to go to Doc later today to see if he can heal some of our wounds. Because unfortunately, we don't have many herbs left over from the previous seasons. And oh my goodness, Penny, hunting on the ice is not recommended. But skating on the ice would be a good way for us to uh, hopefully get around a bit faster. Maybe slide our way straight into the highlands. Yeah, we have another uh, river tile right off to the right. So I think that's what we're going to do. We could actually skate straight up into the uh, mountain domain if we were looking to get there fast. And typically we found that the mountain domain is so far away from the forest that we end up getting there right when all the cats are going to sleep. But we should be just in time today to say hello to all of our new friends. Oh my goodness, we could practically go straight up into their camp. And I am sure their guard, Jag, would not be too happy about that. So we'll have to uh, say hi to him first. Maybe we could give the mountain domain itself a little gift. I think we'll want to save the marigolds just in case we need to really patch up one of our wounds, but we could always give them one of our leftover squirrels. I'm sure they would appreciate that. Any colony could use a little bit of extra food after all. Luckily, since all of this is frozen over, we can get around uh, quite a bit faster. Penny is not the best at swimming, so she has to be careful when she's battling those tougher currents. But hello, Jack, I haven't seen you in so long. Huh? What's the big idea? If you bring gifts for the Mountain Domain, show them to me and I'll inspect them. Well, I have this lovely squirrel for you and I think he likes it. He's given us a little smile. This is a good gift. Our domain will be very grateful. Your reputation with the Mountain Domain is at 50%. Excellent. So if I remember correctly, that means that we can actually go into their shops. So Delta is their shop, uh, their little shopkeeper. And he sells some pretty interesting things like black hairs and whatnot. As it is right now, we've already given all of these things the forest guardian, including even that trout. That was one of the very few fish that Penny was able to catch. But we could uh, hopefully trade our muse for that little inventory expansion. That would be super helpful in the future. And maybe even some of these uh, special little accessories too. Penny is already leading the uh, critter parade though, with her turtle aqua and her dragonfly smoky. So I'm not really sure how many accessories we can have at once, because the pets technically count as accessories in the game. Honestly, my hope is that we're going to be able to find um, a new pet in each and every one of the festivals at the end of the seasons, and then maybe we could have four adorable animals following Penny all throughout the forest. But I'm taking a cue from our last episode, and I'm uh, creeping around looking for bunnies. Those pink arrows indicate that some sort of bunny is on our screen. And if we study our prey, then hopefully we'll have a better chance of catching this one. There we go. Good job, Penny. You might want to uh, eat up one of your birds, though. Penny does love her birds. It's her very favorite snack, so that should be enough to keep her going, even though it's getting a little bit darker and probably quite a bit colder outside. Yeah, I want to uh, try to gather up as many bunnies as possible so we can give Scout tons and tons of his favorite gifts every single day. The more we give him, uh-oh, hello, Cumball. You came out of nowhere. But he's moving super slow, so we might be able to take care of this guy pretty easily. Yeah, I don't think Gumball is putting up too much of a fight. So a little bit of extra experience points for us and uh, some Mews too. We need 300 Mews for the shiny trinket, so uh, quite a ways to go before we can potentially become Scout's official partner. Since we have our eyes peeled for that uh, conch shell anyway, it would probably be a good idea to bring Penny down to the beach because she can sell off all of the extra shells that she finds for the Amuse at Ember's shop. It looks like we have a little mouse up here, but unfortunately that's not what we're really looking for. I mean, Scout does appreciate the mice too, and Penny can always use it as a snack for herself. But we might as well take a trip over to um, the lake, which is Penny's very favorite spot inside the Highlands. And now that it's all frozen over, we can do a little bit of skating too before we uh, go back to the den and sleep away all of those wounds. I don't see any more bunnies hopping around here, but we'll do a quick sweep, a little creeping around just in case any of those pink arrows are going to pop up. But so far, it seems like we only have some mice way down at the bottom of the screen. So I think Penny might be ready to return to the forest colony for the day. 
And what we can do is we can warp directly to our den thanks to her special ability, something that I'm sure she has picked up from that a mystical cat Coco at the Sacred Temple. He does like to use his warping abilities too. But go ahead and curl up for a good long rest, Penny, and then uh, hopefully we can bring one of those raspberries to the Sacred Temple. After we give Scout his gifts for the day, I think we might be ready to uh, complete another one of those bundles. Brr, what I wouldn't do to be warm again. Oh, poor Scout. He looks like he has uh, quite a light fur coat, so I'll bet he is actually pretty cold out in the snow. And then Missy, we haven't spoken to you in quite a while, but I actually have one of our fresh grown blackberries. And we know that you love these, especially when they're grown right inside our own den. Well, at least you have good taste. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you standing here talking to me and not, like, finding a gift to give me? Missy, we literally just gave you a gift. I think that would be a better way to use your time. Well, I mean, we do have a couple more berries, but that's not exactly the way to get a gift out of Penny now, is it? I guess we could give her one of the uh, winter blueberries too. Typically, we can only give the cats three gifts in a day, and look at that. We actually gained our fourth star with Missy. Well, I mean, hopefully that means she'll be a little bit more likely to show us some love in the future. Because uh, so far, we have not been on the best speaking terms with Missy. And then Sarge, we have a little mouse present for you. Oh my, I love these. Thank you so much. Hopefully he's doing all right in the snow because it must be a pretty hard job to guard the colony in the winter. How goes the stock, Penny? Catch anything good lately? Well, we certainly did. We have so many bunnies. Yeah, we have to give those to Scout before he uh, skitters off for the day. So here you go. I hope this will be enough to maybe increase our little uh, heart rank with him. Oh wow, I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Penny. Well, there's more where that came from, Scout. Yeah, I wish uh, we caught a couple more, but we're well on our way now. We have a yellow heart. So we're trying to get all the way up to red. As soon as that heart turns red, it means that he's ready to accept our gift of a shiny trinket. So it won't be too much longer now. But let's see if a doc can maybe heal some of Penny's wounds. Just so we have a little bit more health to work with as we go toward the sacred temple today. Yeah, let's go with the small dose for now. Because um, we don't have too much for him to heal and we want to keep that fund very, very strong. And then if you want to mind, Doc, I am actually going to scoop up some of these uh, little herbs that we've left around your den. Just to keep tucked in Penny's back pocket. Now let's make our way over to the sacred temple and see what sort of trouble is brewing there. Do we have any battles to attend to? Yeah, we have one right over here, very close to the sacred temple yet again. It always seems like the mystic cats are trying to take that over. We even discovered that they're growing some poison inside their swamp lands. So maybe that's something that we should try out for ourselves. We've only tried using the poison on other cats one time before, so I think uh, we'll go past the sacred temple for just a moment and scoot up right to that battle and uh, see what sort of damage we can do. Penny's growing the snake lily inside her garden too, so it would be a good idea for her to really learn how to use this. We'll go ahead and uh, put some of that poison on her claws, and then dive straight into the battle. We're lucky that there aren't too many mountain cats here for us to fight. I was thinking that we might need to use our summon allies skill, but it looks like our colony is going to come out on top. So I think it's safe now to skitter on back to the uh, sacred temple and hopefully drop off that little raspberry. Coco is going to be so happy to see that uh, Penny is really taking her job seriously and trying to restore the balance that we need to bring that spirit back. Yeah, we finished off uh, this one last time. We found that little purple gem to place inside the um, totem and that sent this beam of light straight up to the top of the temple. So I'm guessing that once we complete all of these different bundles, maybe uh, something is going to open up up here. Maybe we'll even get the chance to glimpse the uh, guardian for ourselves. Confusing runes appear on the pillar. You read them. Your success was foretold, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the pink jewel in a ring of standing stones. Journey to the canyon ruins to restore balance to this pillar. The canyon ruins. Well, the circle of standing stones, that actually makes me think of, uh, yeah, this place on our map. Oh, this was where Penny won her very first battle such a long time ago. So it's a super special place for her. And we know there's a trap door over there too, so let's see if uh, Coco has anything to tell us. Hi, Penny, any new discoveries? 
If you find the right items, you should try placing them next to the pillars. Yeah, we know, Coco, don't worry. But hopefully you're going to be waiting for us uh, by that other trap door. Because something tells me we have yet another puzzle to solve. Yeah, but this is the place. This is where Penny won her very first battle. And look at that, the stairs are already open, so Coco must have been through here already. Let's see what's uh, down here. Probably another one of those puzzles beneath the canyon ruins. Oh my goodness, bats? Wait a second, do we have to get rid of these bats to open the door? Oh, they're testing our combat skills. What a perfect way for us to uh, get our next amulet, considering that this is where Penny battled before. But we don't have uh, too many healing herbs, so wait a second, this might actually be a problem today. Let's uh, go ahead and use our Valerian too. This will give us a little boost in movement speed so we can zip around these bats faster. It looks like we're going to have four waves of bats, judging by uh, those lights up on the top of that door. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Maybe we should have had Doc heal us a little bit more. I mean, Penny can hit pretty well, but with the lack of herbs, we're going to risk getting overwhelmed by these bats. Well, let's use our Snake Lily next, so we at least have that poison on our claws again. And then we'll use our Deep Cut skill to hopefully chip away at their lives as we're running around, waiting for all of our uh, little herbs to really kick in. We'll use our very last one now, which is a super worrying because now our safety net is gone. And there's more bats, Eeyup. I think this challenge might be a little bit too much for Penny to take on in the winter time. So at least we know where that is. And at least uh, Penny knows that she has a very, very big challenge to overcome. I mean, those bats aren't too bad when they're just, you know, one at a time, when we're battling them down in the mines, but all together like that, when they're swarming around you and beating you with their little bat wings, we definitely need to uh, try that again in the springtime, when we have some more herbs to spare. But since we have some extra time before Penny needs to return to the forest colony and curl up for sleep, let's go down to the beach and see if we can find any special shells down here. One of you mentioned that um, you were only able to find the conch shell when Alyssa gave it to your cat as a gift. So I'm wondering if that's going to be the same for Penny. Like maybe we just need to get on uh, the Mystic Colony's good side to get some of these special shells. I mean, right now there are so few shells on the beach. There's just that one little scallop up there being guarded by this uh, dove. So we'll scoop that up as well. We'll have to be careful too that nobody tries to ambush us. Since we're so low on health, I'm a little bit nervous. And I mean, there's nothing down here for us to collect at all. Not a single scallop shell on any of these islands. Just yet another one of those birds. So I don't know, I guess uh, that means we'll have to take a trip over to the Mystic Colony next to see if they're maybe hiding any of those shells. Who knows, maybe even their shop will have one of the things that we need, because we haven't gotten the chance to uh, check out Savannah's wares yet. So I think in the next episode, as Penny's uh, strength training truly begins, we'll take some gifts up to the Mystic Colony too and see if we can maybe weasel our way into their shops. I think it'll probably take a little bit longer before we'll get up to the 50% of reputation that we need. But I mean, we're getting pretty close to the point where uh, the Winter Festival is going to be knocking at our door too. And let's see if we can maybe sneak up on that mouse again. Sometimes if we stand still, they stick around a little bit longer so we can get a second try. Let's pounce now, there we go, right behind the tree. It didn't even see us coming. So perhaps it'll be time for us to take some of our own homegrown poisons up to the Mystic Colony. We'll see if they appreciate that as a little gift. I'm slightly leery to uh, give them any of our poisons because we certainly don't want to see them using it against us. But I guess it would be a good sign of trust that we were willing to give them something so potentially dangerous? Hopefully Alyssa will see it that way anyway, or uh, the Oracle rather, because that's who we're going to be giving our gifts to. The Oracle is the mystic guard, so we need to impress her before anybody else. But let's let Penny finally curl up to rest because she desperately, desperately needs it. And then in the next episode, we'll have to try our hardest to find more power paws, anything that will help make Penny stronger and ready to take on the bats. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!